We have Robbie Fabry joining us today to discuss his new two-year contract extension. Um, and just a quick reminder for those of you who were on our Zooms earlier this summer, uh, please keep your microphone muted when you're not speaking. And uh, we're going to be using the Zoom chat as a cue for questions. So feel free to start letting us know right now when you'd like to ask a question by clicking the chat icon on the bottom of your screen. Um, you'll also all be able to record the call uh, with the record icon on the bottom of your screen. But if you do get a message that says you don't have permission, just let us know in the chat as well, and we will go ahead and grant that permission. So uh, feel free right now to uh, start asking in the chat, and when, once we start getting some questions, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, the first question will be from Daniela Bruce with Red Wings TV. Hi, Robbie. First of all, congratulations. Um, I guess we'll just start by asking you, it's obviously been a tough go with the Red Wings in the last season and what you've endured so far, but what makes being a Red Wing special? Why the Detroit Red Wings? Um, I, I think it's more just, uh, you know, the, the potential that that group has in there. Um, you know, you can see it through parts of the season and, you know, everyone can see it and, um, you know, looking for that consistency and the, to keep building as a team. Uh, as we move forward here is important and um, you know just just with the Red Wings found uh, team there they, they've been a great team for however many years and a great organization so um, I couldn't be more excited to, to be here for for another two years and um, and then go from there. All right our next question will be from Daniel Akiji with DetroitRedWings.com. Hi, Robbie. Congratulations. Uh, I'm just curious, why do you think that it was so easy for you to fit in with the team so quickly? Um, you know, I think part of it was, you know, from, from day one, walking into the dressing room, um, you know, the, guy, the guys were, were so welcoming and, um, you know, it was easy for me to get comfortable. And, um, you know, I've been waiting for that opportunity to, to, to play again and to, to prove that, I'm, uh, I'm a, uh, still a good player in this league. And um, I knew with that opportunity, I was going to give it everything I had and not let it go to waste. And, um, you know, couldn't have been happier that, that it's here in Detroit. Our next question is from Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, Robbie, I was just curious, uh, what made two years the right length and, and how quick of a negotiation was this? Is it in the works for a while or to come together pretty quick? Um, yeah, no, it didn't, it didn't take too long. Um, the, the negotiations were, were, were smooth. It was good on both ends. And, um, you know, I was happy that, that it was, it was that way. And, um, the years were just, uh, an agreement on both sides. And, um, you know, after, after figuring out the, the length, uh, the number just came after that. Yeah. And then have you been able to skate much? I know, I think you're still in Toronto. What's the situation there? Have you been able to get on the ice much at all? Yeah. Yeah. I've actually been able to get on, um, you know, quite a bit. Uh, it's definitely a lot different getting dressed, uh, you know, in the trunk of my car, but uh, you know, we're doing what we can to get out there. Thank you. Our next question is from Art Regner with DetroitRedWings.com. Hey, Robbie, congratulations. Uh, I'm kind of curious. I know uh, that you've played center and you played center, uh, uh, a, a little bit uh, uh, last year. Have you talked to Blash? I know everything's on pause. Would do you foresee yourself maybe being a center on this club uh, on the Red Wings? Um, yeah, you know, just in, in talks with catching up with uh, the coaching staff and whatnot. Just you know, talking about how I feel at center, and, and you know, my answer's always been comfortable. And um, you know, I, I really enjoyed it the last handful of games there. I was center uh, before the season paused and. Um, you know, looking forward to, to taking on that role if that's the position they put me in. But um, I think it's a little early now for, for them to be thinking, uh, you know, lineup wise uh, until we, we get some things going. But, yeah, no, I felt comfortable and, um, you know, I really enjoyed it. Robbie, uh, another question. I know that some of the prospects, uh, Sadina's so in the Czech Republic, Mo is back in Germany. Um, depending on what happens, I know the bubble is working during the playoffs, but that doesn't just seem, it doesn't seem possible in an 82 game schedule, uh, to have a bubble. But, uh, with that said, 
Would you consider going to Europe? Could you go to Europe if uh, if this thing drags out a little too long? Um, that's a good question. I actually haven't uh, thought about that. I think uh, you know I'm more uh, you know confident in the in the league, you know, and the the PA coming together and and figuring something out, uh, you know, doing it uh, doing it here. Um, so yeah, no, I haven't I haven't actually thought about that at all. All right. Hey, congratulations, Robbie. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Our next question is from Ansar Khan with M Live. Yeah, hi, Robbie. Uh, just to follow up a little bit, I was going to ask you what Art asked you about uh, playing center. Um, is that uh, how much have you played uh, that position during your career? Is that your kind of your natural position, or, or, or is it wing? And what are the like differences in your in your game uh, as opposed to when you're playing center or, or wing? Um, yeah, so my nat natural position is is center. Um, in St. Louis, I, I was wing right away um, and been wing up until, uh, like I said, the last handful of games. Um, but no, my my whole life before that was center. And, um, you know, it, it helped, you know, playing wing as well. So I'm comfortable all over the ice. But, um, you know, being able to, to play center and, you know, have the puck in your hands and, and have it in the middle of the ice with speed, uh, you know, really, really helps me with my game. And that's where I thrive. All right, our next question is from Dana Garuder with the Detroit Free Press. Hey, Robbie. Uh, when we talked back in May, I think it was, you talked about wanting to get off the cycle of one-year contracts and getting a little bit more security. How important was that to you? And, uh, and as a side question, since that uh, time that we talked, what have you been doing the last three months to get ready for the season? Um, yeah, you know, I think if you ask any player, um, you know, in the league, um, you know, there, there's a little bit added stress on, on a one-year contract, but, um, you know, to, to get a little bit of uh, a cushion there is, is nice. And, um, you know, I'm confident in myself, so I can only see myself, uh, you know, improving and getting better here with, uh, with this team as, as, as we come together as a group and, uh, and do some good things in the future here. Um, and then staying ready, um, you know, I've been in the gym. And on the ice, like I said, uh, you know, for, for over a month now and, um, you know, do, doing my best to, to stay in shape. And, you know, I've, I've, I've been uh, a little bit experienced with this long time off. So, uh, you know, I understand what to do for myself and, and how to keep myself ready. Have you been in Toronto the whole time there or what? Yeah, yeah. All right, our next question will be Daniela Bruce with Red Wings TV. Robbie, you actually answered a little bit of my question there with what you were focusing on during this unforeseen long off season, but just a little bit lighter. Obviously, I'm sure you wish you were playing in them, but the NHL playoffs have been great so far. I just want to know how you feel about the system that the NHL put together to make this happen. Um, yeah, I think they've done a great job, um, you know, from talking to guys uh, in both bubbles and, and guys that are playing and, and just watching, um, you know, almost all, all the games, which has been fun. But um, the Leafs done a great job, and um, you know, to get to get some hockey back to the fans, and you know, for us players as well, it was important, and they've done a great job with that. Thank you, Robbie. Congrats again. Thank you. All right, our next question will be Dana Wakiji with DetroitRedWings.com. Hi. Just in another congratulations, you have other good news, which is sort of off the ice. You guys got engaged. Was this something that you always had planned for this off season? Um, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, you know, something that I've been thinking about for a little bit now. Um, you know, she's, she's been with me, you know, along the, the whole way uh, through the ups and the downs and, and all that. So uh, the plans I had before COVID uh, for the engagement were a little bit different, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it all worked out and, you know, it's, it's been great for us so far. Were you planning to go somewhere special or? Yeah, I had some ideas, nothing set in stone. So uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too much to change. And have you set a date yet? Uh, yes, we, we have for uh, 2022, we have a date. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, our next question will be Art Regner, DetroitRedWings.com. 
Robbie, I'm kind of curious. You said you've been watching all the all the hockey. I think we probably all have. I mean, four or five games a day was uh, from going to nothing then to going to like you know feast or famine here. But I'm kind of curious. What do you think of that bubble environment or playing without fans? Do you do you like the setup of the way that uh, the NHL has done it and presented it? Because it really does seem uh, after a while you you really forget that there's not fans in the stands. But I would imagine from a player's perceptive perception you would definitely know there's no fans there yeah yeah i mean you know watching it uh is a little bit different than them being in it for sure um so you know i, I don't know the feeling of, of playing there with actually no fans uh but you know like i said with everything they've done to to allow them to play and um you know with what they've done with you know the crowds and the noise and, and whatnot sounds sounds like they've done a great job um, you know, I, I know it's different, uh, you're not getting the, the home and the, uh, on the road feeling of going into different buildings and, you know, there's always those tough buildings to go into. So, um, yeah, I think it was an adjustment period for everyone, but, um, it looks like it's, it's going really well. Have you talked to anybody who's playing right now, like a, a friend, former teammate or anything? Have they kind of told you what the experience has been like for them? Yeah, no, I've talked to, like I said, guys in uh, in both bubbles, you know, friends and, and former teammates and stuff. And, um, you know, there's an adjustment period, but um, at the end of the day, everyone's there to, to, to do the same thing, and that's uh, to win a Stanley Cup. So, um, you know, all, the, all that aside, um, you know, I think everyone's just happy to be there. Thanks again, Robbie. Yeah, no problem. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have today. Thanks, to everyone, for uh, joining us this afternoon. Robbie, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, Robbie.